Greetings programs. Today's video is a little bit different than, uh, obviously, <laughs> than our usual. Um, it doesn't pertain to movie reviews or analysis or toys. However, if you notice, I've done like a lot of hockey stuff because like I loved hockey since I was a little kid. And uh, fun fact, hi wifey. Hi. Hi, hi Alita. Uh, I actually met her um, on the set of The Bachelorette. It was such a short season that we actually beat Claire and Dale's record because <laughs> it was like, hi, I like hockey. I like hockey too. And then we got married. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I brought her on in all seriousness because um, a female's perspective for this video would be actually quite appreciated. Um, you're a fashionista, so you can tell me like what you know materials you think are better. We can just talk about them and stuff. Um, like what fits are better, especially for women. We have one women's jersey here on hand to talk about, and also like the crests and stuff, because obviously female bodies are different than males. So um, it's gonna be a fun video. You want to start? Let's go. So we have everything today. We have. Uh, old school jerseys from the 90s. We have Reebok jerseys from like 2005 to 2017. We have Adidas jerseys, we have Fanatics jerseys, and our favorite, bootlegs. Okay, so from like the 80s to like 2004, they had these type and style of jerseys. We'll call them the retro jerseys. So this guy right here is a CCM. This guy right here is a starter. There are other different brands also known as Coho. And they're also like Mitchell and Ness jerseys, even though Mitchell and Ness never had like an on ice sweater. And you can buy, like for example, I don't know much about shark history. You might actually, you might have the answer here. I know that I have in my notes that the Colorado Avalanche, when they won the Stanley Cup in 96, they wore starter on ice. Cause I thought always starter was just like a Mitchell and Ness. They never actually wore them on ice like CCMs. Did the actually, the sharks, they actually wear starter jerseys on the ice? I have no idea. <laughs> I bought this at um, Play It Again Sports. Oh. It was $19. Wow, I got this for $30 on eBay. Nice. Yeah. yeah. This doesn't have a player though. No. Mine does. No. I'll show I it like off. the blanks. You do? Yeah. I don't like blanks. I prefer blanks. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Because apparently the one jersey that I buy of a specific player, he ends up getting traded the next year. Jersey so. curse. Yeah, that's how it goes. Okay, so anyways, most of these jerseys, I believe this guy says Canada. Let's see here. Polyester. Yeah, this one says assembled in Canada. Is that Canada? Made in Korea. Oh, wow. Okay, I just learned something new today. I guess star jerseys are Korean, at least the non-on-ice authentics. And all of them, like Coho, I believe, are also Canada. And so until 2005, these are the type of jerseys that were made. So... What is one thing you notice immediately about these jerseys, like say compared to like the ones we're wearing right now, Adidas? These are definitely the same material because you can just see it. Yeah. And they're also a lot simpler yeah. than the Adidas. Yeah. So do you remember like, because we actually both played hockey, that's how we met originally, we played hockey together. Is there something you notice about these jerseys, the material from like us growing up as like kids wearing similar types of jerseys? Feel like they're thicker aren't they the same though like compared to these right these yeah, are like yeah. the super fancy and like this is the crap like we this is like the cheaper version essentially of like what we wore as kids right they're really scratchy yes do you like wearing this type of sweater no, no i don't like wearing it either i mean you're usually wearing like an undershirt right underneath but it's still like it 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 retains a lot of water reebok and adidas really don't do that um, I'll show off the cresting here because yours is blank, but this one's the Sergei Fedorov, one of the greatest players ever. This dude has sewn on uh, cresting, quote unquote cresting. So some jerseys that are old, they will feature uh, cresting that is kind of like the NFL. NFL lower end jerseys are not sewn on, they're just like printed on, which stinks because over time they're just going to fall off in the wash and it's going to be kind of poopy. So, if you're buying a jersey that is a player, try to make sure that they're sewn on like this one is. Also, there's this thing, have you heard of this thing? It's called the jersey foul. No? Okay, so for example, Sergei Fedorov played from 1990 or something like that till 2003 with the Red, 2002 with the Red Wings. So if you went and got an Adidas jersey and had it customized with Fedorov, 
it would be a jersey foul because he never played with the Red Wings when they had CCM or starter. So that's something to note if you are a person watching this video knows nothing about hockey jerseys. Uh, that is a jersey foul and is frowned upon. I think it's kind of stupid to gatekeep. Like, oh, you can't have that Adidas jersey yeah. with Fedorov. I love these things. We'll talk about this later. But it's just like, if, I, if you're comfortable in it, like who cares if it has an Adidas thing on the back? It's, yeah. just, it's not accurate, but it's what it is. So also, the cut of the jerseys are like really big. Do you find that to be more comfortable? They're like really wide. Here at the chest, and they're kind of short. I feel like they're straighter. Yeah, they're yeah, more of a straight cut yeah. for sure. They're like the Adidas ones, especially the Reebok. Not so much. The Reebok are kind of like this, but these old school jerseys, you can see it on camera. Like how big this freaking sleeve is. This is probably the same. Yeah, yeah. Th there's room for like an elbow pad in here essentially. Mm -hmm. So if you're like a fan of a team, you want to play like drop in or whatever on Friday nights, like we used to um, before the pandemic happened. Um, you can fit an elbow pad in one of these old school jerseys. And also, because most of these are really cheap on eBay, you can get like your favorite team for cheap and just like play hockey with it wherever and fit like gear underneath it. So that's something that's actually pretty cool about these dudes. Sizing. So I'm an XL t-shirt. I have an XL jersey here, even though it's still baggy. Mm -hmm. Your size is a size medium. Mm -hmm. Is that true to your shirt size too? Or is this a little bit like bigger or smaller? I usually wear men's medium, but this one is definitely like compared to the newer jerseys, this one's longer on me. Sleeves? N sleeves and like the overall length of the jersey, mm -hmm. it comes down a lot lower. Really? Because yeah. I find that like for me, maybe for dudes, like this is shorter of a length from back to bottom. I feel like the sleeves are fine, the chest is baggy, the width of the sleeve is big, but for some reason with me, I feel like maybe the back length is shorter than like these ones are. Mm -hmm. So I find them to kind of be like a little bit smaller of a fit. But usually they're like one to one from like your regular sizing. It's just gonna feel baggier. You're just gonna have to remember that. Mm -hmm. So when you're buying them. Um, there's this thing called the Heroes of Hockey. So you can buy pre-crusted, which is already made by like NHL shop or whatever of jerseys of legendary players like uh, Howe and Gretzky. Um, Adidas makes them right now, but CCM used to make them. They're called Heroes of Hockey. Uh, these are made in Indonesia, the ones from 2017 on by Adidas. Um, so you can, like like I said about the jersey file, you can buy these and it will be accurate to the time period because the front cresting, like say this is like the newer style Red Wings, even though it's been around for like, this style has been around for like 50 or 70 years. There was one before that that was like inverted colors and that's the, the time period that Gordie Howe played in so it's more accurate or whatever. So that's something to take note of. The Adidas Heroes feature a jock tag on the front. They're more of a relaxed fit than the ones we're wearing now, the added Zeros. They're more like the Retros. Um, they're bigger in their arms just like the Retros. And their uh, cresting, their player kits are actually pro stitched so they're multiple layers which is good. And this is the only jersey available from like the NHL shop that features this. The other jerseys don't, we're gonna talk about this later. And so, overall though, the Adidas Heroes of Hockey consensus on the internet is that the jerseys are very thin and the older ones from prior to 2017 made by CCM are actually better material, they're thicker jerseys. Also, I guess the collar for the Adidas Heroes of Hockey is a little bit tight. So, I actually bought one of these, a Gretzky, returned it because the collar was crooked, so it was terrible craftsmanship. Um, and that is a size down. So I usually wear, this is an XL uh, Kings Brown jersey, and I had to buy a size large Gretzky, but I ended up taking it back anyway. So if you want to buy an Adidas Heroes of Hockey, go one size down. <sighs> okay, so, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so after the NHL lockout in like 2005, Reebok signed a deal with the NHL. A lot of people did not like the Reebok jerseys from out the gate, they were quite ugly. But from the beginning, these jerseys had definitely a different feel from the retros. So, what can you tell just right off the bat some differences of the Re Reeboks and the retro jerseys? This material is definitely a lot softer yeah. than the older jerseys, the yeah. old school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, what about the cut? So, like, th these jerseys are definitely different, especially like in the arms. Oh, yes. The arms are not as large, and then you can see, like, here the shape of the jersey. It looks like it would be more like fitting yeah so they're not as fitting as the adidas but they did like kind of slimmer the cut and i think they extended it as well if you see like the back 
kind of like droops down and the front isn't that much. Um, so what she said about the materials was these guys apparently are more moisture wicking. They weren't like apparently when they first came out in like 2005 or 2007. So they made like a new reiteration of the authentics. We'll talk about the authentics here in a minute. But these dudes overall, the, a lot of these are on clearance on like eBay because Adidas took over. So you can probably score like a good one for a good deal. But overall, I'm not a big fan of these. I don't know if you like. You don't have any Reebok ones. Oh, you have one. I do. Do you, do you notice like the, you get more snags compared to like the Adidas with the Reeboks? I, I felt like I did. I think I have one snag on like the sleeve mm -hmm. on my Reebok. Jersey. Yeah. Like and also, I like normally I'll wear a medium, but I have a size small okay. in the Reebok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go size down. So I have a size large Reebok here. And this is a size extra large Adidas, so yeah, right. real quickly, just going into sizing, we go size down. So, uh, one thing about these dudes is when I compare them to the Adidas, I feel like when I'm touching this Adidas, it's just smooth, and like this one is almost like inverted from the material. Like, I don't know, it just, even though it looks almost the same, mm -hmm. it feels like this one's just not, not rougher, but obviously it's not as rough as right. the, the retros. But um, yeah, these dudes, not too big of a fan of them, but we're gonna talk about the cresting here. So we're gonna flip that one, and I'm gonna flip this one. So this one has pro cresting. So we're gonna put them on here. I'll have to get B-roll and show off the differences. So I wanna hear from you, do you notice a difference between this one and this one? Well, these numbers are sewn on and it looks like they're layered. Yeah. This looks like it's just screen printed. Yeah, what we have here is a, Lids used to do this too. But if you go to a site and just look up pro cresting or like you make sure that it is like a multi-layered cresting. So this one is orange on blue on white and they sew layer on layer and then boom, it's on there. If you get a jersey from the NHL shop, from Fanatics, from Fans Edge, any of those places, Lids Now I believe too, they're all like the same distributor, Fanatics. Uh, they will produce and provide you with a kit that looks just like this kit. This is from the NHL shop. This is sewn on one layer and it's very papery. So like this one is from, what is it, the NHL shop? Yeah. This one is almost the exact same thing. There's two colors here. Yeah. In real life, it would be a white layer printed on teal, but it's just one. It's just a, like a faux almost, even though there's no stitching there. This one's actually from Adidas. Oh wow, it was about yeah. the same thing oh, though. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Damn you, Adidas. <laughs> but, but if you really want like that next level like wow factor, like you can tell in person like the differences between these two. It's kind of like well, the color there. even looks different too. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think also this one is like um, not technically from like the NHL, even though this matches this better than that because mm -hmm. that one looks like washed out and desaturated. That looks like poop. Right. But this one looks like really nice. Like you'll you'll notice in, the, in when you go to a game, people compliment you on how nice the jersey looks like. You can see like the layers and you can just touch it. Definitely. Nice. But that's a huge difference if you were to buy uh, from a company, well, won't be named because they didn't sponsor the video, but that's where I got these Adidas jerseys from. So last bit on the Reeboks. For some reason, Reebok did a stitching of Reebok here on the front. Obviously all the jerseys on the back for uh, like, like Coho used to put like, you know, their name Coho right here on the back. Adidas does that, but it's not just on the back, it's on the front as well. And do you notice something between this jersey and this jersey on the front here? Is there a difference? See? The logos. Well, the logos are different. Yeah, yeah, these are smaller, but is there anything on the bottom? This one has a tag. Yeah, so this is a jock tag. All these jerseys, the premier ones, come standard with a jock tag. This one, I, don't know if I can get B-roll of it, but you can see maybe the outline a little bit. Yeah. I took it off. Okay. So I just flipped it underneath here and like use like sewing scissors. Out, yeah. yeah. It looks way better without it on. So next is the Indo Edge. So this is the Retail Authentic. I want you to see, and you can feel the touch of the, the top shoulders because that's a big difference. Do you see any differences? This is super thick. Yeah. That's a big one. That when I, when I first um, put on this guy, this guy's jersey has double material here on the shoulders, mm -hmm. something that Adidas does for their retail jerseys here, and it feels just way better. This is like super thin. Right. It's garbage compared to this dude. Also, you know something about the materials too? Compared to this dude? This one has like multiple different fabrics. 
Yeah, well, this one's got the same. It has like the for the wicking or whatever area right here, but like the fabric of this dude. And also the cut even of the, the sleeve, it has like a taper compared to like this one, just like they didn't really care it looks like. But this one, it, it's a little more stretchy. Also it has like more of a hockey looking material. And if you look, do you see a difference between the sleeves here? Yeah, these are stitched on and this is just printed. Yeah, so this is like a, a fashionable like piping yeah. here on the jerseys. Even like it goes from like wicking material to regular to wicking. This is actually what the players like were like the Oilers when they wore this jersey. This is how it was. It was all perforated like actual like printed on material and they sewed it all together. So something also from the front here. I had my mom sew, uh, sew on the Oilers logo on here just to make it more like uh, over time maybe it would fade. These front crests are sewn on. So that was a big difference that you really couldn't see. Uh, also the tag. So there's like this yellow tag here. And here it's just like sewn onto it, it looks kind of poopy. But these ones do not feature fight straps here on the back, the replicas, and the authentic ones do. So that's a big difference right here sewn on. And then I had the same exact kit here. This jersey feels like something you would wear for outdoor hockey. Like that's a, yeah, I think these used to like retail for like, I don't know, at least 200 or 300 bucks. But like it just, it's so much better when you put it on. It's just, I don't know, it feels good. But it doesn't feel as good as these ones. Only thing left to talk about, the difference between the Indo Edge and the Premier jersey is that sizing is the same. So this is size large, this is size large. It's called 52, it's the same exact as the Adidas, uh, you know, authentic type of number system. And of course, I have, I don't have an actual jersey of the Authentics for Reebok, but they're called Edge and Edge 2.0. Essentially, they're just like, better versions of this dude the actual authentic because this is made in indonesia yeah and the authentic is like made in canada so the edge 1.0 is like the early days of reebok from like the mid to late 2000s they tore a lot and so the edge 2.0 is the newer version of that so even if you got like an edge 1.0 for cheap that's still good but uh yeah on to fanatics and adidas our favorites in 2016, Fanatics signed a 16-year deal with the NHL to produce this jersey right here. This is the Fanatics Breakaway replica jersey. And this right here is the Adidas Authentic. They're not really authentic, but the Adidas Authentic jersey, add a zero, whatever you want to call it. So what are some differences right off the bat that you notice about? This is also the women's. So the women's also has a different style, but it has the same features as the Fanatics. So what differences do you notice for the Fanatics and the Adidas? Uh, the Fanatics is softer and I feel like it's more flexible when you're wearing clothes. Oh yeah, it is more flexible. Look yeah. at that. It is really soft. Holy it crap. It is so soft. Yeah, I don't know. I like wearing these, but that's very nice. I, I feel like I'm partially biased to the Fanatics. Right. Because they are so soft. Wow. And I feel like most of the time when we're not going to games and like I want to wear a jersey, I prefer this material. Really? Than the actual jersey material. Wow. If it's a random event. But if it's a game, mm. I would rather wear this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So one big thing you notice also, maybe about the front crests. You know some? Yeah, this one looks really nicely like embroidered and layered and this one it looks like it's like this is all just printed on here mm -hmm. and it's not stitched around any of like the logo except like the star is stitched but that's it. Right, yeah, so big, big thing besides sizing we'll talk about here in a second is the front logos and also like the player crusting of the Fanatics has this like reflective like weave looking like I don't know if you can tell like it's like weavy. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like a reflector kit when you were biking or something right. so like this one like these materials like look more authentic than this dude this dude is a little shiny um, but one cool thing is I'll um, get the female perspective if you want to that these are super flexible and these sometimes they look better but they're very stiff mm -hmm. so I don't know if that's a comfort factor for like women or not. I feel like the logo, like it's even doing it now, like this one is like yeah. riding up a little bit. Yeah, this, like you can see the shark yeah. like pointing, yeah. But on this one, it doesn't do that at yeah. all. Yeah. Like it just like kind of lays there really nice. So like if you're willing to sacrifice the look for comfort, this is probably your jersey. Also something, are you going to say something? Yeah. Go uh, ahead. The cost of these is drastically different. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about cost. <laughs> at, oh, let's just talk about cost right now. I'll pull up the numbers. So if you want a blank jersey... From this, this is 180. From the NHL shop, pre-crested, the, you know, the big time stars from the team, it's 225. And then if you want a, a player like that doesn't have a pre-crested option, like say McDavid or someone you want like Ethan Bear, like from the NHL shop, that's 250. 
So, I'll just talk real quickly about how much I got these jerseys for. So these are like the reverse kiss um, layers for the um, numbering. That's actually what the Kings do instead of like a, um, I got the uh, Oilers one. It's like three layers. Like the, the Kings do reverse instead of doing like layer on top of layer. Like they have the white and then they put the silver on uh, top of the white. So it's reverse kiss. But I got these for like 170. And that's less than, the, the, I got two for 170, and then I got another two for 150 because it gave me 10% off for reviewing them. But, this one was well over $300. Yeah, we're, yeah. Because it came from the team shop. Yeah, we're going to talk about, this is actually really well crested, but like that's how much like they cost. Like actually like pro cresting isn't cheap, folks. You can drink a beer. Oh, I thought that's what you were going for. No, I was looking at the price tag of oh, this one. Yeah, I got the prices there. Here, yeah. I got them. Hold on. Yeah, okay. So the prices, is, is it, what's it say on there? Women's Fanatic. Okay, so the women. So, so the, I think the men's I have written down here, blank, is 130 new. And if you want to get a pre-crested player, it's 170. So you can get a pre-crested player, 170 for this, and then a blank for this without a player is 180. And then if you want um, a retired player like Wayne Gretzky Kings, it's 170 for a breakaway uh, Fanatics. And if you want a custom one, like uh, say Ethan Bear again, it'd be 200 bucks. So. That's a lot of money for something that I'd rather have, would have personally, the Adidas, right. but... They definitely put these more on sale, too. They Because on this one, it was marked at $77, but I got it from the Dick's Sporting Goods website for $25. Wow, you show off those deals, girl. <laughs> 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 these dudes feature on the front, just like the Reeboks. Mm -hmm. The little, tag. little front jock tag. Yeah. These dudes have like a little, like... Reebok pump, like from the shoes. I kind of like that. Dude, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this is it's random. This, cool. this wasn't included in the video script, but like I sometimes just like touching this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little bubble. And it's just like, ooh, that's good. <laughs> but you can also remove this. I don't think you can remove this. This is iron. Oh, you can. Yeah. You can. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can take some scissors. I don't and remove. think I would. Oh, uh, well, I would. I don't, I don't like I feel it like it would, be, it would be more noticeable on this one than your Oilers one because this is just like straight navy. So if you yeah. cut this out, I feel like you would be able to see where they had sewn it in versus on that one, it's on the stripes. Maybe. So you can't really tell. Maybe. Um, so fits. So hold that dude up. I believe that the uh, Fanatics also is a more relaxed fit compared to the Adidas dude. Mm -hmm. The Adidas, they have very, this is what I've noticed. You can chime in if you wish to. The Adidas like styling is very tight yes. at the chest yes. and it flares out at the butt. Definitely. And also the, the arms are pretty slim just like the Reeboks. But they are tighter in the chest than the Reebok ones. So just remember, uh, sizing. Mm -hmm. So I wear XL shirt. This is 54 XL. Mm -hmm. Is same? I wear men's medium. So I wear medium Adidas jerseys. So it's one to one. Yes. So, but this dude. This is a women's jersey. So then you can see like it goes in at the waist a little bit. There's like a curve there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so do you, it's just like women's sizing. So whatever women's shirt that you wear. Is it one to one? Yes. Okay. Definitely. So do you, random question, I wasn't included in the script. Do you like the women's or do you like wearing the men's? It doesn't have to be Adidas, but like, do you like the cut as a woman for women? Or do you like wearing the men's jersey? Even though you wear my clothes. I feel like it depends because I definitely noticed it with your Oilers women's jersey that the logo was extremely small. Yeah, that was really small. This one looks pretty, like the size looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks I almost have to same. Say. And yeah. then like the patches too, like they're not yeah. that different, I feel yeah. like. Also, not just what you said earlier, uh, these dudes, are they sewn on? They yeah. are. Okay, yeah. never mind. Yeah, these aren't printed on, but these are printed on. Right. The shoulder patches are printed on. They're not sewn on. And they also have the same flexible, weavy looking material. Mm -hmm. So these dudes are flexible. But it is sewn on. That's actually quite nice. Right. You can feel the embroidery there. Right. That's actually quite If the quite logo's the same size, I might prefer this one. Just because these jerseys, they're clearly made for men. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this one flatters women a lot better. And I just like the material. Yeah, it actually is quite soft. Yeah. But something I just noticed right now, like this front embroidery, like this has like a glittery material, right. which, and also just the, well, this is 3D too, mm -hmm. but like the actual yeah, glitter here. It's just here, 3D in the star. Like the, it's not the, like. The colors models. aren't as, I think, as authentic, because if you look at the silver, right. this looks more like a gold. Uh, two last notes about uh, the Adidas right here that we're wearing. Um, the collars are different than the Reeboks. 
So like there's like a very thin like double etched material here that's really strong. I feel like when you're taking off, like, uh, yeah, you can be like Hulk Hogan. You're not gonna right. rip it. Well, <laughs> you, you probably will if you're Hulk Hogan. But like it feels way doubled up. Mm -hmm. Even though some of the designs are kind of ugly, I personally like this color. The Kings one looks way better than I the. I feel like it lays Reebok. nicely. Yeah, too. Mm -hmm. But it just feels like sturdier, as does the shoulders. A lot of people when these uh, jerseys came out, little perforated bubbles. Uh, people didn't like the design, but they doubled up the material here compared to the old Reeboks that aren't the authentic ones. I like the way this shoulder looks better than this one. Yeah. This one's just the same material throughout the entire thing, and this yeah. one's not. Yeah. The, these jerseys are apparently, what, what was the stat that Adidas said? I have it here in a second. I guess they're just overall lighter, cooler, and stronger than the previous gen, which was Reebok. So... I remember when I bought my first Adidas one, I did feel like it was like cooler mm -hmm. and just, I don't know, I really like, we're going to talk about at the end which one we like the most, but uh, let's talk about the game worn Adidas. So you can buy these unavailable at retail, of course, you can only buy them at like auctions or specialty shops. They're also known online or on the internet as ICE or MIC, which is made in Canada. So they feature better uh, cresting. So if you don't want to, like the shop I got these like pretty much pro crestings at, mm -hmm. you got, you said you got this jersey at the team shop. So yeah. some team stores, team shops have this. This jersey actually is really uh, well crested and it might be even the pro cresting because I'm touching this material right now and like this is a super thick material. It's not like the papery mm -hmm. uh, NHL shop materialing. So you paid a lot of money though for this jersey or somebody did. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Amanda. What's up, Amanda? She's, Solid she, Christmas present. You might be watching this video. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Uh, yeah, this is actually a really nice uh, cresting here. So, like, when you go out, like, I, I don't think the Red... I, I haven't really touched the Red Wings jersey in a while at the shop. But some of the jerseys, if they're one layer, they're going to be thin as it is. This is only one layer. This isn't, like, doubled. And I don't think that they have on ice as this doubled. I think maybe the Blue Jackets have like the retail version like perforated instead of printed on like this because I know the Oilers have the same style and so do the Vegas Golden Knights they have like the, the holes mm -hmm. but the retail Oilers has like holes punched into it and the on ice one has the printed on holes just like this right. so this actually looks like an on ice kit mm -hmm. this is actually quite nice so remember that when you're ordering your jerseys, make sure you got some, you know, nice ones and not like those little papery ones. Mm, I don't know. Well, when I go to California. Oh, yeah, that's true. Real quickly, notes. I have uh, two Kings uh, jerseys from uh, Reddit. One is a, a, a Adidas Redtail Authentic, for, like, you know, whatever money. And then one of them is the On Ice. So the differences are obviously price. I think it's like 300 something dollars for an On Ice one. Uh, the perforated bubbles are different at the shoulders. The fight straps are a little more reinforced and obviously the kits that we just talked about. So those are the differences between those two. So now we're going to play a game called Is It a Bootleg or Not? Are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So is this jersey a bootleg or is this one the bootleg? I can go back and forth. That one or that one? That's the bootleg. This is the bootleg. Yes. You are actually wrong. <laughs> what? Yes. Why? This is actually the real one. Where's the NHL logo at the top? They just, for some reason, I'm sorry I tricked you. You <laughs> did? Yeah. yeah. That was what I was looking for. Yeah. So it they, also kind of looks like crooked a little bit there. It's just the person's oh, photo from Ouch. Ebay. So, yeah, whatever reason, they just didn't have the NHL logo on it. But so a big d uh, key difference between a bootleg right now is the front crusting. So... Uh, That's what I let, was, I let me started looking. Yeah, at. let me actually just pull back this dude. So like if you notice for this Blue Jackets one, yeah. they have and even for like my Kings here, they have the jersey material within some certain areas of the front crest. So like your Sharks has almost the whole black of the shark okay. and then the stitching is teal. But like the authentic so like the real jerseys will have that. That's a really big great indicator. I just want to just keep them on here. That's a big indicator. So you see like this, the material from the Red Wings there. And this one right here, it's just like embroidery garbage. All right, one more. It's just, is it or isn't it? So is that a bootleg or is that real? That's a bootleg. Yeah, you okay. got it, you got it right. You're betting five iron. That's pretty good in baseball. All right, that's not bad. All right, uh, we're gonna talk about differences here. So let's actually get our bootlegs and let's talk about them. So this one's mine. Number one. I, sorry, I tricked you, but the NHL Shield. Uh, this one's fine. 
But like the NHL shield for a real one is never going to be effed up like this one right here. Yeah, this this, one, it looks so different. It's bad. No, it's like it's just the positioning of it. Like they don't care when they make them. So obviously, uh, disclaimer: these are bootlegs. So this is bootleg sharks. This is bootleg Oilers. So this uh, NHL shield is higher sewn on. This one's fine again, but these ones are going to be perfect it's every time. It's not even like secured around the edges. No, it's probably glued like, on. Yeah. I think these are sewn. Yeah, I think it might be falling off. Wow. But yeah, that's a big indicator right now is the NHL shield should be always uh, that one Red Wings one was taken off for some reason. I have no idea. Maybe they didn't like the NHL, but they still own a Red Wings jersey. No idea. But these will always be bam, centered, no screw ups. Another big thing, front crests. So do you know something about your front crest? And also maybe this one, you're not an Oilers fan, but I noticed it. Is there something here, these are different uh, problems, but you notice something about this dude that like is different from that dude? Yeah, this one doesn't have like material at all from the jersey. Yeah. It like, this is a different fabric and then this is all embroidered. That, but then yeah. also, <laughs> this is messed up right here. Yeah. Um, when you put yeah, it on bad. too, like, I feel like this is slightly crooked as well. Yep, that's a big it's problem. It's just very slightly crooked. Yeah. Like, you can tell it's off. Yeah, so I have some pictures of, like, Red Wings jerseys. Like, every Red Wings fan ever knows the exact positioning of the winged wheel. And for some reason, some bootlegs, they, like, straighten. <laughs> and they make the, the, the winged wheel look totally different. Like, you can tell with your eyes. Your eyes don't lie. Um, one big thing, yeah, so here's a screw up there with the stitching. Here with this Oilers jersey, the oil, like, text in real life, like, curves to, like, the right within each, like, letter. And here it's just, like, straight down. Um, when I saw that, I was like, well, that's poop. So that's an issue. This an issue I also noticed with, I have a picture of a New Jersey Devils jersey. Big areas of, like, a jersey, sometimes they get super bubbly. So like this kind of looks like the weave material is getting a little bit bubble, not just cracked, but like it looks really bad sometimes for the bootlegs. Stitching, so like yeah, you notice here like this shark, uh, shark's jersey has a, an orange eye and then it looks like the stitching just like attaches itself. You can fix this stuff, you can get some scissors and like, you know, shimmy it and cut it out. But like a lot of them I have B-roll of your, your jersey kit in the back, actually of this dude. It's all the way around. Sometimes, like, the kits for the letters, numbers, and logos, they keep on some kind of, like, paper material that they, like, sew the crap onto, and they don't tear it off when they ship it out. So, like, that's a big indicator that's a bootleg. Uh, let's go to the back and yes. show off the uh, numbers and letters. Do you notice something that's different from this NHL shop to the bootleg? This is just awful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we gotta be awful. detailed. I noticed two two big things. It's about that and it's about like the material. What do you notice that's different about the material? This one, well this one's screen printed, so this is fabric. This is the same fabric that's on the front of the logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one thing I noticed that pretty much every bootleg, including football, has is that this really glossy finish, even this one, but like this isn't glossy. This isn't glossy. Bootlegs, I think 100% of the time, are gonna be as glossy finish. I remember the one time I went to Wendy's, and you wore this, and you like stepped out of the car, and it was just like, Ugh, there's just light shining in my face. It was bad. So that's one big giveaway. Another big giveaway here is the actual like fonts. You're gonna notice that for some reason, every single time I do a bootleg, including like football, I noticed, the font of the nameplate is gonna be like, a thicker font or it's gonna be like fatter so your eyes don't lie people so when you're looking at the nameplate and it looks a little off to you it most likely probably is they did a decent job on this but the back is not the same color which is another thing the colors may not be 100 percent accurate mm -hmm. so like this navy and orange might be different from the actual navy and orange that they wear this teal might be different from the actual teal i remember i got like a lion's bootleg from like 2009 and Matthew Stafford and the blue looked like a Carolina Panthers blue and not like the Detroit Lions blue. When you wear these in the NHL like arenas, they're gonna look really bad like standing out. Of course you shouldn't judge people, but like if you go to a game, you're spending like 80 bucks on a ticket, 20 to 30 or whatever on beer, you're buying food, like you can afford to buy like a hundred something dollar jersey, especially if they're on eBay for cheap. 
So don't buy bootlegs, folks. If you think about it, it's an investment. Because if you go to a lot of games, you can wear it a lot. That too. One more thing. So I have an autographed jersey, and uh, you will be getting one too. So one big thing is a lot of sellers, they will take a bootleg jersey to say like Connor McDavid and he'll sign it and then they'll sell it for like hundreds of dollars more than what they paid like 20 bucks or whatever for or from China. And they'll make that money because Connor McDavid actually signed that jersey and it's been authenticated with a little sticker and stuff. But that jersey looks like crap because it's a bootleg and it's not real. So you have to be very careful where you buy it from. I got ours from, I got mine from eBay but it was real, it was Reebok. And I got yours from like Fanatics or Fans Edge and it was a, a real Adidas one. But so be very careful and train your eye. I mean, after time you can. But especially if you're buying an autograph jersey, a lot of them, I would say like at least 60 to like 70, maybe 80% of them are like bootlegs. So be very careful if you're out there buying an autograph jersey. So take this crap off here. <laughs> what jersey out of all of them, style wise, Reeboks, Adidas, Fanatics, Retro, which one is your favorite out of? Not like teams, but like, right. yeah. Yeah, my favorite to wear to the games and wear most of the time is definitely the Adidas. It just feels nicer. The material feels better. Like it's more breathable. It's a little bit comfortable. Yeah. It looks better. And I feel like too, like for women, the Adidas like authentic ones look the best compared to any type of other jersey. But then for like, if you're gonna wear it somewhere kind of like random for a party or whatever, Fanatics jerseys are super comfortable. The logo is very flexible. So if you prefer something like that, then I definitely say go for that. But like, if you're a true hockey fan, Adidas is the number one. Yeah, I would say no matter what, I really love the Adidas. Now the Kings didn't wear an Adidas branded jersey when they won the cup, but like I bought all Adidas. I have a quick behind me. Um, because I absolutely freaking love these things. Like, I, they're so comfortable. Like, you can wear them out of the house, like, all day. And I thought, like, because when I first tried them on, they're not like the traditional hockey jersey where it's, you know, you got room in your chest and blah, blah, blah. And, like, the materials, I remember when I first put them on, I was like, well, I like this. Yeah. And, like, the stitching, like, even at the bottom here, like, the Kings is, like, doubled at the end. Is yours for the Sharks? It's blank. Yeah, so, like, this one, like, feel that. Like, that is, like... It's it's nice. It's okay. reinforced. I like the collar. I like that the collar is reinforced. A lot of people complain about like the jerseys when they first come out, like the bubbles being ugly. I like the shoulders. It feels like a quality jersey. I feel like I really like these the most out of all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, the front crests do like you know are a little sharp, but I just really love these things. So and they feel like they have like you know lighter materials here for like the arms. Mm -hmm. So like you're not you know stinky or sweaty as much, but yeah. I don't know, I really like hockey jerseys. Yeah. And so do you, you yeah. just them. I have a collection. These, yeah, these ones, these are not mine, but like these, I only wore the, the black and silver. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we have a lot of jerseys. We showed them all off and uh, hopefully that video was uh, good and enjoyable and helpful for you guys. So Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. And happy shopping, especially if you're watching, you don't know anything about hockey or hockey jerseys, hopefully that was a help to you. And uh, you get some deals, mm -hmm. so. Shop NHL usually has 30% off right now. But don't buy a crested jersey. Buy the cheap jersey from them, blank, mm -hmm. and then go somewhere else to get crested. So, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Godspeed. <laughs> <laughs>